that in so far as the US is concerned, certain inputs were given to us as part of our security cooperation with the United States. In so far as Canada is concerned, no specific evidence or, inf or inputs were provided to us. An Indian official has been implicated by the US authorities on account of an alleged attempt to kill a U.S. citizen. On the other count, there has been reports about India rebutting the stand of the Canadian government. Is it a fact that we are not having an equitable treatment? And what is the status of the charges and allegations raised by the U.S. authority? Thank you, sir. Honourable, Honourable Minister. Sir, uh, the matter is not directly connected to the question, which is on the visits of union ministers. But nevertheless, uh, since it has been asked, uh, sir, through you, I would like to clarify to the honourable member that in so far as the US is concerned, certain inputs were given to us as part of our security cooperation with the United States. Those inputs were of concern to us because they related to the nexus of organized crime, trafficking, uh, and other matters. So, because it has a bearing on our own national security, it was decided to <coughs> institute an inquiry into the matter, and an inquiry committee has been constituted. In so far as Canada is concerned, no specific evidence or, inf or inputs were provided to us. So, the question of equitable treatment to two countries who have one of whom has provided inputs and one of whom has not does not arise.